Trust me. Have you seen that, and what have you seen from Will through, uh, I guess, eight days now? He's taking the right steps. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, you can feel kind of his fifth year presence when he steps onto the field, gets in the huddle, takes command of it, um, lets everybody know their assignments and what they got. I'm um, kind of like a field general out there, so has tremendous confidence in his ability. Um, so that that bleeds out throughout uh, the entire offense, and we're able to play fast. Is he more like that than he was in spring? Yeah, for sure. I think it's it's something you know. You, you know, you're in a new environment. You got to get accustomed to the people. You got to get accustomed to the new offense. So it's all coming with time. And uh, he just continues to get better and better every practice. Mike, how much further does that put y'all ahead, though, in this camp? Because last year, there was a battle for the starting job at quarterback between two guys who had never started. You understand what I'm saying? Right. How much further ahead do you feel like y'all are in that regard? Because even Devin's been through it, you know? Yeah, I would say, I would say, you know, every every offense that you come into with each new year has to find its own identity. So there's still those growing pains with with every single offense. So it's not it's not always you know easier because you kind of got to find you know your stride in a sense. Yeah. Um, but we definitely feel their seniority uh, impact the offense in a in a positive way. And you personally, uh, where have you seen Jeremiah Smith grow in this camp? I mean, obviously he's had all these accolades, et cetera, and people gushing about him for you know even starting camp and stuff, but. Where have you seen him actually make some growth? Um, probably just his, his mental, um, just his ability to, you know, take in the good with the bad and, you know, kind of consume the playbook and, you know, grow in his knowledge of the game. Um, because as a freshman, when you come in, that's something that, you, you know, you may lack a little more than your physical ability, especially for someone like Jeremiah. He has all the physical tools you might need. Um, so it's kind of catching up that mental game. And it can be hard as a freshman because there's so, mu there's so much stuff flying over your head. Um, especially with all the praise he was, he's receiving, but he's uh, he's taking it you know the best way he can, and he's doing great. Yeah, and you and Marvin seem to embrace the, even the competitive nature of these practices, right? Have you seen him do that? I mean, you know, he's not going against high school corners anymore. He's going against Denzel and Jermaine and mm -hmm. and Iggy and all those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we kind of we we try to recruit guys with that dog mentality. You know, it's not really something you're going to want to teach them. It's going to be something that you you hope they already have, and he definitely has that. He has that competitive spirit, that competitive nature. Um, so it definitely shows when you know going a bit against you know bigger talent. Yeah, I know you guys don't care like big picture how how you guys score points, who gets yards, whatever. But this offseason it seems like there's been a, a new concentration slash focus on the run game, and maybe this is going to be a run first offense as. Um, I mean, we don't, you know, we got to see what, what, how everything stacks up when we put it on the field. But, I mean, a run first offense opens opens up big lanes for the passes. You know, you, you got to take the safeties low. You got to do all that type of stuff. So um, it's, it's less about it's less about who gets the touches and um, more about, you know, how we can capitalize on opportunities that we're given. So. I mean, you can. I mean, you can take it any way you want. We have the best running back backfield in the in the entire nation, and we have the best receiver unit in the nation. So, um, we kind of we're kind of jack of all trades. So, you've been moved around the offense in the past on different things, motions, different creative ways to get open. But has that increased any now that Chip Kelly is here, or is it kind of the same as it's been in the past? Uh, I'll probably stay away from talking about scheme stuff. <laughs> so. What, what was it that Jeremiah did that you think enabled him to be an Iron Buckeye? Um, just coming in every single day and, co and competing. That's really what we're challenged to do um, as as Buckeyes. When we when we walk into the weight room with Coach Make, you're supposed to be there and show up and show out every single day. And you're not allowed to have a step back. You're not allowed to have an off day. He took he took care of all his um, you know the non-negotiables of this program. He was never late. He made his weight every single day. He gave his 100% effort, and at the end of the day, he was just winning a lot of competitions and just grinding. So, yeah. I'm Michael. I know you, last year, you and Mark raved a lot about Brandon. Mm -hmm. Brandon didn't get a chance to do a lot this spring. Mm -hmm. What stood out to you, even when he wasn't on the field this spring, that that made you think that he can be a, a legitimate impact player for you? Well, yeah, first and foremost, he got, he got voted on by his peers to the leadership committee on our team, which is a group of about – you know, 16 to 20 of our of our guys who the team looks to as leaders. So obviously, you can see how people think of him on this team. They think highly of him, um, and he comes in every day. He has a very fiery, competitive nature, um, and he, you know he puts in really hard work and days in and days out. So even though he hasn't seen the field too much yet, um, we have no we have no um, 
concerned that when he does step onto the field, he's going to make a great impact. He's only been here a year. Like, yeah. Here last summer. What mm -hmm. about him? Like, taking the darn as that respect for guys that he can be on a leadership committee after 365 days. Like, yeah, just his ability to be able to, you know, talk a good game, but also back it up. Um, not in a sense of playing football, but more in a sense of we're going to be the hardest working team on the field. Uh, we're going to go in day in, day out. I'm going to I'm going to beat you even when I don't feel healthy, even when I don't feel good, all that type of stuff. It's it's all a mentality. I'm not gonna, from far away, it looks like uh, Milan, not just five, kind of moves a little bit like like young Garrett. Though. Right. If you were here with Garrett. Like, do you see that in him? Like, okay, yeah. I'm not trying to compare him to the Pick, but mm -hmm. Do you see that a little bit in the way that he can shift around? Yeah, he definitely is very fluid about the way he moves, and we see it in his in his uh, you know his routes and his releases. So you know when when all the wide receivers are you know in the film room and you know he's getting crafty, he's, he's doing all this body movement stuff. It's like okay, we could see he got a little something to him. So it's just about bringing him along. You know he wasn't you know he, he just got here, his first first year here, kind of building along. There's, there's steps you got to take, but he's definitely trending in the right direction. Like a lot of teams get talent, but for whatever reason, you guys seem to develop, develop the receivers better than, than anyone. What, what goes on out there that somehow helps Ohio State keep placing guys in the NFL? We play Denzel, uh, Davison Ibanosa, and Jermaine Matthews, Jordan Hancock, Lathan Ransom, Caleb Downs. That's really what it is. It's uh, it's BIA getting us better every single day. So tremendous credit to the defense and the, the ability to be able to develop corners like that. It's just good on good every single day. That's that's the way you get better. So. How much more difficult is it to get open right now? I mean, we definitely have a, a strong secondary, I would say, this year. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just, it's not just their talent that makes them special. It's their, it's their ability to go hard every single day. They show up every single day with a competitive nature. And, you know, we're, we're going back and forth on the field every single day, maybe bickering it and spitting at each other a little bit. But um, it's all love at the end of the day. We appreciate them for getting us better. I'm not, last question. I'm not, you, you do a lot of things this offense have done in your whole career. Brandon seems like a guy who can do so much. Whether it's just sweeps or anything, you see kind of that same versatile build in, in Brandon as, as kind of some of the things you do. Yeah, absolutely. Brandon, you know, he came up, played running back for a lot of his life, played a little quarterback here and there. You know, now he's a receiver. He can do a lot of different things. Um, so we just try to put him in a position where he can be the most successful. Um, and the, the position that makes him the most successful is just the ball in his hands. So we try to do that for him um, and, and a bunch of other guys in the program who thrive with that. All right, Emeka.